In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We spend a moment in silence for our brother John, who has now been called by our Lord Jesus Christ. We remember the good times that he spent here with us. We are mournful at this point of time, but at the same time we are also joyful that he is now in the abode of our Lord. As we remember his good times, we pray, whisper a prayer, at the times he has hurt us, at the times that he has not been good to us. Let us acknowledge our sins as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, my Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, let us pray. O God Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant John, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Hello. A reading from the book of Job. Job said, Ah, would that these words of mine were written down, inscribed on some monument with iron chisel and engraving tool, cut into the rock forever. This I know that my avenger lives, and he the last will take a stand on earth. After my awakening, he will set me close to him, and from my flesh I shall look on God. He whom I shall see will take my part. These eyes will gaze on him and find him not alone. This is the word of the Lord. Your response will be, The Lord is my light and my help. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? Your response. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savor the sweetness of the Lord, to behold His temple. Your response. Praise and glory to you, Lord. It is my Father's will, says the Lord, that whoever believes in the Son shall have eternal life, and that I shall raise him up on the last day. Praise and, praise and glory to you, O Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still, and trust in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house. If it were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare a place for you. And after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to, place, to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of his holy church. Let us pray. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant John, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving saviour may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For even though by our own fault we perish, yet by your compassion and your grace, when seized by death according to our sins, we are redeemed through Christ's great victory, and with him called back into life. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth uplift your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith savors Savior of the Lord for by a cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Cardinal Oswald Gracious, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also your servant John, whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Anthony, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our brother John may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. With faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently bring the body of our brother John to be buried in its human imperfection. Let us pray with confidence to God who gives light to all things that he will raise up this mortal body to the perfection and the company of saints. May God give him a merciful judgment and forgive all his son sins. May Christ, the Good Shepherd, lead him safely home in to be at peace with God, our Father, and may he be happy forever with all the saints in the presence of the Eternal King. We pause for a moment of silent prayer. Our response will be, receive his soul and present it to God the Most High. Together, receive his soul and present it to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to his aid. Come to meet him, angels of the Lord. Together, receive his soul and present it to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. Our response receive his soul and present it to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Our response, receive his soul and present it to God the Most High. Father, into your hands we commend our brother John. We are confident that with all who have died in Christ, he will be raised to life on the last day and live with Christ forever. We thank you for all the blessings you gave him in this life to show your fatherly care for all of us and the fellowship which is ours with the saints in Jesus Christ. Lord, hear our prayer, welcome our brother to paradise and help us to comfort each other with the assurance of our faith until we all meet in Christ to be with you and our brother forever. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. We will say the prayers at the grave year itself. Let us pray. Since Almighty God has called our brother John from this life to himself, we commit his body to the earth from which it was made. Christ was the first to rise up from the dead, and we know that he will rise up, and we know that he will raise up our bodies to be like his in glory. We commend our brother to the Lord. May the Lord receive him into his peace and raise up his body on the last day. Let us pray for our brother to our Lord Jesus Christ who said, I am the resurrection and the life. The man who believes in me will live even if he dies and every living person who puts his faith in me will never suffer eternal death. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer together. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, you went at the death, you wept at the death of Lazarus. Comfort us in our sorrow. We ask this in faith. Lord, hear our prayer. You raise the dead to life. Give our brother eternal life. We ask this in faith. You promised paradise to the thief who repented. Bring our brother to the joys of heaven. We ask this in faith. Our brother was washed clean 
in baptism and anointed with the oil of salvation. Give him fellowship with all your saints. We ask this in prayer. He was nourished with your body and blood. Grant him a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom. We ask this in faith. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of our brother. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. We ask this in faith. In faith and hope, we now recite the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from our evil. Let us pray. Lord, listen to our prayer for our brother, as you always desired to do your will. So in your mercy, forgive whatever wrong he may have done. By his Christian faith, he was united with all your believing people. Now, in love and mercy, Give him a place with your angels and saints. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. May his soul rest in peace. We now move to the grave.
Good. Uh, good. 